Here we are, I saved the best for last, the action shows of CN. Let me start off with one of the older shows, Batman Bold and the Beautiful. I do yearn for some more serious Batman shows, but seeing how The Batman was a weak imitation of the 90s animated series, it's nice to see them go into a completely different direction. The show is all just Batman having a campy adventure straight out of the Golden Age comics while teaming up with lesser heroes no one cares about. I place this in the same category as those stupid 90s Street Fighter and Dark Soccer cartoons that are fun to laugh at. Although there are some more dramatic episodes, such as the one where Batman meets the Doom Patrol. No Beast Boy, thankfully. I do really like this show, and I'm sure Batman fans are already watching it. But if you're like me and yearn for more 90s style DC shows, there's going to be a CGI Green Lantern cartoon. Release designs so far look like CGI versions of Bruce Timm's work, which hopefully it won't animate like Beast Wars. In other DC news, they're finally making the next generation of Beetleborgs with a live-action Blue Beetle show, also a sort of spiritual successor to Teen Titans called Young Justice. And best of all, DC has answered my constant pleas, the CW plans to make a live-action series of Raven! I don't care what they do, it just better have Raven in the leotard, otherwise we shall arrange a boycott on this series. That is why DC Special Raven failed. Fire Breather. You gotta love how they advertise this show. Where were you on November 24th? Everybody else was watching Fire Breather! Well fuck you, Mr. Announcer Guy, I have a life! No you don't! Fire Breather is a TV movie based on an image comic where a half-dragon teenager lives the life of a by-the-numbers Spider-Man movie origin. It ain't nothing special, but the camera work and action sequences are surprisingly good, really makes up for the simplistic visuals. Now here's the strangest thing, the main guy Duncan has a father who's a dragon and a mother who is human. Which raises questions this movie humorously avoids answering, I sort of theorize the mother just got caught in the crossfire flying dragon. Generator Rex! What an awesome name that is, another show based on a comic. Generator Rex is the story of a world filled with infected citizens just waiting to be mutated, only to be cured by Rex. A teenager with attitude who can control his own mutations and has all the powers of a battle toad. Rex is joined by a talking monkey and Agent Smith of the Matrix named Six because numbers sound cool. The show does not talk down to you. Often side characters would want to kill off anyone mutated nearly beyond repair, but Rex would always try to find a way to cure them. In one episode, there's a disease that causes everyone to suddenly fall asleep on the spot. Rex asks why he bothers to do tasks like stopping a runaway subway full of people, only for someone to argue. Every life saved counts. That's pretty dark. It's essentially saying that thousands of people have already died and they're doing what they can to help the desperate situation. It's not like other action shows where they destroy stuff and never think about who they're hurting. I do really enjoy this show. I think Rex's powers are pretty interesting. It would be my favorite, if not for the next show. 